Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and what I like to do is I like to try to find a way to encourage you as you go through the different parts of your life. There are some of you who are really trying to reach for things and to build a beautiful life. There are some of you who are trying to just recover from difficult adversities you've been facing. There are some of you who are excited of the new chapters that is opening in your life, and I hope that I can be there to encourage you along the way. If anything that I say helps encourage you, if anything that I say helps motivate you, please go ahead and smash that like button. Please go ahead and subscribe so that we can get all the updates and all the alerts to make sure that you're with me as we go along the journey together. I'm just so glad that you've decided to stop by and allow me to encourage you. And I hope that this will help you to encourage someone else. Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and this is Rick Roberts Life, the podcast where we talk about my faith, my thoughts, my life, and today is Motivation Monday, and I want to talk about loving yourself today. In the past, we talked about how love is patient, love is kind, and we had that in respect to others, but I want to talk about that in respect to you today. You know, we are so busy pushing forward, trying to live the best life that we can, trying to manage the routines of life, but it's so easy to forget that we have to take care of ourselves also. We talked about how patience is used to put a break on things, and instead of reacting to things, we respond to things. And you see, as we work so hard in our lives, we put so much pressure, we put so much stress on trying to make sure that we get everything done, that sometimes we neglect ourselves. We neglect our own personal well-being, and when we feel like we're not measuring up, we start to become negative and put ourselves down. And I want you to be careful that you do not fall into that trap of putting yourself down when you feel like you're not succeeding at the things that you want to succeed at. When you find that you're not where you want to be in life, you will get there. Continue to work hard, continue to do all the right things you need to do, and you stand a good chance of hitting the mark. It may not be when you want it, but you will still get there or get an aspect of that in the end. So what happens when we start to put ourselves down? We look at where we want to be and we see that we're not there yet and we start to say, oh, you know, I'm not good at this or, you know, no one likes to have me around or I don't see my value in this particular area. People don't appreciate me. And you start to have this negative self talk. And then the next thing you know, when you go to do that thing, you feel triggered and you start to compound the anxiety, compound the stress. And I want you to be mindful of what you're doing. You have the ability to take these negative bricks down and to rebuild a fortress of strength instead of a wall of negativity. So how do you do that? Being kind to yourself. Now, we talked about how kind is the proactive side of love. You have to make sure that you schedule yourself in some times of rest, schedule into your life some things to be kind to yourself, things that is pleasing to yourself, like, you know, some me time, uh, being, you know, pampered for some of you guys, or just getting away from everyone and having some time to just clear your head, but something that's going to make it feel as though you are being blessed. And as you bless your experiences, as you find blessing in your life, you will then see that life is worth living. Life is more than just routine and stress. Also, how do you be kind to yourself? Kind words, you know, saying kind things about your abilities, about your skills, about who you are, about where you're going, about where you've come from. Look for things to be thankful for. You know, it might be very difficult for you depending on where you are in your life. And I get that. So let's start small. What are you thankful for? What do you find that you can do easily while other people find difficulty in that? Be grateful for that skill. Be grateful for that talent because that is yours. And as long as you leverage it, as long as you find a way to make it work for you, it will take you places. It will help bring you into you know, situations that you never thought was possible, but you need to be 
patient. You need to be kind to yourself. As you get used to finding kind words to say to yourself, when you find that you're in bad situations, what you'll see and what you'll experience is that when you are in a difficult situation with someone you care about, instead of you being so quick to be critical of them, you'll find words to encourage them and to lift them up in the bad situation. Yes, when we are putting so much stress and anxiety on our lives, we become overly critical and every single thing in our life becomes poisoned because we are so critical of everything. We start to nitpick ourselves to death. And then what we find is we nitpick others to death. The way to get rid of this nitpicky voice is by silencing it inside ourselves first so that way it doesn't leak out to others. So... As you go through the difficulties in life, be sure to be kind to yourself. Make sure you have a space where you can feel that you can rest, that you can relax, that you can, you know, get back your strength to be able to fight another day. But it all starts by you being kind to yourself. You cannot sit around and wait for others to be kind to you because sometimes in life that just doesn't happen. Sometimes in life you find that you are isolated and you feel like the world is against you and you have to be able to stand strong and know that you can and will get through this. The way that I always know that I can and will get through this is because I know that God is with me and that God has given me every single thing that I need to be able to stand strong. And when I find that I've come to my limit, he will be the thing that makes the difference. And I hope that this will encourage you to be able to stand strong in your difficulty. Stand strong as you face adversity because you will overcome. You will get through this. It just may be a little bit longer to get there than what you expected, but you will get there. It may be a different aspect, a different variation than you thought it would be, but it will still be beautiful. It will still be amazing. You have to find a way to be patient with yourself. Find a way to be kind to yourself because you are valuable. Despite how you feel, despite what people may say to you, you are valuable. In the right place, at the right time, you are priceless. And so I want you to pick your head up and keep moving forward. Find a way to be kind to yourself this week. Find a way to be patient with yourself this week. As tension rise, As anxiety gets there and you feel like you're isolated and alone and you can't do this, I want you to remember that you are stronger than you know and that you have the power of God, the love of God, right there, willing to back you up and to carry you through. I'm Rick Roberts, and you stay classy. Bye.